Hello, I'm Stephen Wilkinson from microscopes.com.au and today I want to have a look at some tardigrades under these two microscopes. Now tardigrades are often referred to as water bears and you can find them in moss and lichens in your local park. Now we've got two microscopes here, we're going to look at uh, them under the stereo zoom microscope now this microscope has got a magnification of up to 160 times and um, we've got a digital camera and hopefully we'll be able to see some tardigrades today and capture them on the video screen. Now we're also going to show you them on this inverted microscope, sometimes referred to as an upside down microscope. These are uh, beneficial if you're looking at, for example, tardigrades in a petri dish. So you put it on the microscope stage and you're, you're actually looking at it from the underneath of the, the stage plate. So we've got <coughs> um, bright field microscopy on this microscope and we've also got phase contrast. So we'll be showing you some videos later on in the, in the clip of the bright field and the phase contrast microscopy. You'll find tardigrades in moss or lichens. So I have here a petri dish with moss and lichens that I went down to my local park yesterday and I gathered some and I've had it soaking in spring water for about 24 hours. It's very simple to get the tardigrades out of the moss. You simply gather up some of the moss in your fingers, transfer it over to a, a clean petri dish and you simply squeeze. Now you can, a good hard squeeze, try and get as much water out of this moss as you possibly can. Now you won't harm the tardigrades by doing this. So it's very simple. And that is all you need to do. So now this sample is ready to have a look at under the microscopes. So looking through the stereo microscope, this particular microscope has got a magnification power of eight times to 160. And we've got the illumination system consisting of a dual light source and the light comes in at uh, both sides. So we'll have a look now and see if we can see any microbes in this specimen now we have a tardigrade here and this is a magnification of 120 times We're now going to look at the tardigrades on this inverted microscope. So we've got two magnification powers. We're going to be looking at it under 200 times and 400 times. Now, first of all, we're going to look at it in bright field. Now you'll be able to look at tardigrades yourself under a conventional um, biological microscope with a 100 times and a 400 times magnification power. 